Okay, so this is the light program. Well done for everybody out there who has taken the step to start with us. I know this program's been a long time coming, but we've brought it to you. And for those of you that have just started, well done. I'm so proud of you. We are just loving doing the light program. So many people that couldn't get involved are now taking part, so we're not missing anybody. So, today's light program, we've got five exercises for you. They're a little bit different. We're going to move it up a bit. We're going to start adding the weight. So are you ready? Uh, oh, a little tip. If you're finding that you're looking at the numbers that we're doing like 100 of these or 75 of these, a lot of people are splitting them up throughout the day. So they're doing 25 reps and splitting them through the day. So it's not so intimidating. So you're still getting your workout, but you can split it up. So it makes your day a little bit more interesting as well. Sumo side lift. So get nice and low. Make sure your knees don't come over your toes. Sit down, hands on your waist. What you're going to do is you're going to transfer your weight onto one leg squeezing the ass, squeezing the obliques, go back down, lift up, go back down, stay low, go back down, stay low, go back down, down. Okay, so if this is not intense enough for you, get some weight involved, get your sandbags, they're perfect, because they're nice and soft, you can use them, you can either use them in front or behind your head, whichever is good for you, sink down, Remember, if you're splitting these up throughout your day, get 25 with some weight if you can. Get stronger. Lift up, go down. You're gonna feel this on your inner thigh, your outer thigh, your bum, all over. It's gonna really burn. So, that's your first exercise. Are you ready for number two? You're still asking for different variations, so we're bringing you two new ones today. We're gonna to use our sofa, and we're gonna use the wall. So, get to your sofas. Knees on the mat, hands shoulder width apart. All you're gonna do with a nice straight body line with your core really nice and tight, that means pull your abs in as tight as you can. You're just gonna lower your body to the sofa, and then back up as far as you can go. Okay, so if that is still hurting your knees, I know some of you out there are looking for a variation, this is it. So if you're still looking for an alternative, this is it. Get to the wall and we're gonna do the same thing but using the wall instead of the sofa. So feet hip distance apart, hands shoulder width apart, making sure that they're just in line with your chest, you're gonna come down, come back. The further you are away from the wall, the harder this is, okay? So go down, two seconds down, two seconds up, two seconds down, two seconds up, nice and slow. Again, because you're not putting any pressure on your knees, you're gonna find this a lot easier to get involved and a lot easier to start and they're not gonna be so intimidating. Get them press ups in. Don't be scared of them, just give them a go. Okay, exercise three, let's do it. Now we're gonna work our bingo wings, which is these ones here. We're ready, summer's coming, let's get some tricep dips in. So, you need your sofa or something to lean on. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands by the side of your body and then you're gonna brush your bottom off the end of whatever you're using. And you're gonna use that as your guide. So, legs hip distance apart, pull your abs in. Now the trick with this is your elbows have to go backwards, not out to the side, they go back, okay? So as far as you can, you're gonna go down, lift, down, and then you can just have a rest by taking a seat and then do a, do some more. Do like five, if you're just starting out, just do five and then have a rest and do five more. The further you take your legs out, the harder it is. Okay, let's get some legs involved. Step ups, are you ready? So get yourself something that you can step on, whether it's your staircase or a box, just make sure it's nice and sturdy. Step up with the right leg, step down with the right leg. So you're gonna do 50 on one leg and then you're gonna do 50 on the other leg. Now, whether you do them straight away or split them through the day is entirely up to you. Now, if you want that a bit more intense, get yourself some weight involved. Again, great to have the sandbag handy because you can start using it. So, behind your head, you're gonna come up, step, then go back down. It's not about speed, it's about quality. So, step up, step down. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. Are we ready for the next exercise? Oh yeah, abs. 
Okay, so our last exercise, abdominals. We're gonna do 15 reps in total, nice and slow. I'm gonna use my Oogie ball. You can use your stability balls if you wish, or I'm gonna show you an alternative on the floor if you don't have the equipment. So, get yourself on your ball. <sighs> nice straight body line, engage your core, which means pull your abs in nice and tight. So, I'm gonna use my hands on my head, and I'm gonna show you an alternative. So, you're gonna hold. <sighs> Go down. Okay, for those of you that want this more intense, you can add a weight onto your chest if you wish and really slow it down. It's just gonna make it a lot harder, okay? We're just doing 15, so find your level. For those of you that don't have the equipment, you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna do it on the floor. You've already got some good foundation, and that comes with slow, controlled movements, and that's why we do it very slowly, and we get the, the actual move correct before we start just jumping in because that's where injury comes and we don't want that so that's it that's your workout i hope you enjoy it any questions you know where we are we're on the website or on the facebook have a lovely day enjoy your light program and i will see you tomorrow bye